Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. Let S be the set of all five digit numbers formed using the digits one, two, three, four, five without repetition. What is the sum of all numbers in S? This is from an old Amazon interview question. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. So just for fun, I asked this question in ChatGPT, and I want to let you know it gave the wrong answer. So while artificial intelligence is a promising field, it's not quite ready to solve your math homework. So let's work this out the old fashioned way. We'll first work it out using computer code, and then I'll show a way to solve it using a smart calculation. So first computer code. The method is we'll create an array of all permutations of one, two, three, four, five. So here's computer code in JavaScript that will do that. We have an array where every single element is a permutation of the numbers one, two, three, four, five. Then we will sum all the elements in the array. So here's code that will do that. We'll loop through the array, sum it up. So here's a visualization. We have every single number that's a permutation of one, two, three, four, five, and we've created a running total. In the end, we get the correct answer of 3,999,960. So this method is great to calculate the answer. However, we have to be sure that our code is correct and that the computer is not making any sort of goofy calculation. So it's always good to work this out another way. So let's do a smart calculation. We have the digits going from five to one and we need to create a five digit number. So let's suppose that we put five in the 10,000 spot. What we're going to do is sum all of these instances of the five. In other words, we think about all the possible numbers that can be made where five is in this spot and we add up five multiplied by 10 to the power four that many times. So how many numbers are there? Well, we have four spots that are remaining, so we can take these four digits and arrange them in four factorial different ways. So the sum of all these instances of five will be five multiplied by 10 to the power of four multiplied by four factorial. Now, similarly, we can put five in another spot. What if we put it in the thousand spot? Well, we have a similar calculation. We have five multiplied by 10 to the power of three being in the thousand spot multiplied by the four factorial ways that we can arrange the remaining four digits. But we could also move five over to the hundred spot. So we then need to add five multiplied by 10 squared multiplied by four factorial. We move five over to the 10 spot. So we have five multiplied by 10 to the power of one multiplied by four factorial. And finally, we have five in the one spot. So we add five multiplied by 10 to the power of zero multiplied by four factorial. So we can factor this and we will get the following expression. Now, what about the remaining other digits? We can do the same sort of calculation. For the digit four, we have four multiplied by the sum of these powers of 10, and then we multiply that by four factorial. The same thing for the digit three, for the digit two, and the digit one. So we now want to sum all of these together. So we can first factor out the sum of these powers of 10, and then we have the sum going from five to one multiplied by the sum of these powers of 10 multiplied by four factorial. It just remains to calculate this. The sum going from five to one is 15. The sum of the powers of 10 is 11,111, and then four factorial is 24. So finally, we do this calculation and we get 3,999,960. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.